Hello guys, welcome to this series of learning web development using W3 Schools where we will learn about a complete web development using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's first go to W3 Schools and log in. Schools and log in. I already have an account so I'll just log in but if you don't have account you can sign up. Uh, the reason that we're logging in or signing up is because once you complete the course, you get certificate that you can use it in your portfolio or you can put it anywhere that you like. So let's go here and log in, continue learning, continue, let's go to hold. So this is just the basic introduction to HTML. It is a standard markup language for web pages. With HTML, you can create your own websites. So everything that you see in internet these days is basically using HTML. And HTML is easy to learn and you'll enjoy it. You can actually uh, study HTML using video, video tutorials from W3Schools itself. And this is basic HTML syntax over here. And if you click on try it yourself, You'll get the actual code editor from W3 Schools as well. And you can make some changes over here and that change will be visible on your right hand side. So we'll just add one paragraph and say, hello, welcome to W3 Schools and close that paragraph and run it. And here you can see that paragraph that we added over here is visible on your right. So this is actually a good way to learn using W3 schools because you'll get this simple code editor where you can try different things and write a code as well. Let's go back and scroll down. And here we have HTML exercises. And this HTML tutorial also contains nearly 100 HTML exercise, which is good, but since we are just learning or starting to learn HTML, we don't know what will be applicable in this field. If you guys know, then you can comment down, but for now, I'll just skip this one. Here we can find a lot of HTML references. So once we start learning and if we get confused, then we can always come back and have a look at these references. And like I said, once you're done with your HTML course, you'll get this W3 School Certified Certificate, which you can use it in your portfolio. So let's go to HTML introduction now. So HTML is standard markup language for creating web pages, like we discussed earlier. And what actually is HTML? So HTML stands up for hypertext markup language. HTML is the standard markup language for creating web pages and HTML describes the structure of a web page. It, it defines the structure of this web page. Like in this W3 schools, you can see that we have a nav bar up here on top and we have a second nav bar followed by different courses available in W3 schools. On your left hand side, you can see this selection tab. On your right hand side, you can see this entire div which has different text like headers and buttons and bullet points and text area as well. So this is this is the structure of HTML like at initially we have nav bar, nav bar and sidebar and div area with buttons. So this is the structure of HTML. Later on once we start learning HTML and getting into it more deeper we'll have a better understanding of how to structure these uh, in a proper way. But for now what we understand it is a language that creates a structure for the web page like the bones in our body it is the bones for the web page that we see the full package of web page html is the skeleton html consists of series of elements like i said html elements tell the browser how to display the content a simple html document example here you can see it starts with doc type html which we will learn in later videos what doc type means and why do we write this one. HTML always starts with HTML 
tag itself and once we start any HTML tag, we need to close the HTML tag as well so that it bounds whatever there is in between HTML. So it bounds it within this boundary of HTML. So HTML starts with HTML and closes with HTML tag. After that, we have head, which is closing over here. And we have a title tag, which is closing over here. And we have h1 h1 closing paragraph paragraph closing and body body closing as well we can actually try it ourselves and make some changes like add another paragraph and just write welcome row set and let's run it here you can see welcome is visible on our right hand side now here we um come for the explanation of all these tags that we saw over here what are these tags S start with doc type html doc type html declaration defines that this document is a html5 document so html had different versions and it has come up all the way to html5 so what doc type html means is it is using this this particular html version which is html version 5 Previously, we had HTML with other versions like 4, 3, but this is HTML5, so doc type HTML that you put on top of your HTML tags is basically saying it's HTML5. And the HTML element is the root element of the HTML page, so this has to be in your HTML to tell that this is a HTML tag. The head element contains meta information about the HTML page. Inside head, we can bound this logo that you see over here as well. This comes on the head section as well. And the title that you see, like I already explained here, this is the title, introduction to HTML. And then the body section is where all the things in your website goes. Like this logo to this navbar, to the second navbar, sidebar, all these divs these ads that you see over here, everything falls under the body section. And some of the tags for this example will be H1 tag and P tag falls under the body section. Like you can see here, HTML, H1 tag, P tag. And what is an HTML element? An HTML element is defined by a start tag, some content and the end tag, like tag name, which in this case, we can pick H1 as a tag and content goes over here where in this case, my first heading is the content and closing tag name is anything that you start it started your tag with. With the backslash, you just enter that tag over here to close that. And the HTML element is everything from the start tag to the end tag. My first heading my first paragraph, so H1 is the start tag, my first heading is the content, and S1 end, end tag. Likewise, P, my first paragraph, and P end tag. Here we have BR, which is breakpoint, and element content, none, and end tag is none. So, HTML has few exceptions where once you start a tag, this tag works as a closing tag itself. So you don't have to mention a closing tag for this uh, BR tag. You will quickly see one example of using a BR tag. So after welcome, we'll just put this BR tab and run it. Here will, you will see no difference, like nothing has changed. Now, after that BR tag, if I put one P paragraph tab and let's say what just happened. I see no stains. Full stop. And let's close this P tag and run it. You'll see that the content over here is displayed, which is correct. But for the BR tag, we see nothing. There's like no change in the uh, results. So what this BR tag is doing is adding a breakpoint, like a gap in between these two paragraphs. So welcome and this paragraph, there's a gap in between. If I remove this BR, BR tag, 
and run our code, you can see that the gap disappeared and this paragraph is followed by this paragraph. Now, if we add VR tag and run it, you can see that there's an empty space in between. So this BR tag, it is a need a closing tag because it itself acts as its closing tag and we don't need any content in between because it's just a gap. So we don't need any content. I hope this one is clear and let's have a look at this note, what it says. So some HTML elements have no content like BR element. These elements are called empty elements. Empty elements do not have an end tag. So you can note this one down, this BR element for future reference. Once you start working with this, this tag quite often, then you won't, you'll remember it. But for now, I suggest you to note this one down, which will be helpful in it while learning the, all those concepts later on. Web browsers, the purpose of a web browser, Chrome, Ace, Firefox, Safari, yeah. You can use any browsers of your choice and uh, comment down what browser that you're using so that we can see the most popular browser that the developers are using to read HTML document and display them correctly. A browser does not display the HTML tags but uses them to determine how to display the document. So what this means is, like here in our results, you can see that only the content in between these tags are displayed and all these h1, p, br, p, body, html tags, nothing is displayed in our results, only the content in between is displayed. So the browsers help us to chase that html into displaying the, just the content and not the html. So browsers play a vital role in loading the html page with the content, not the html tags itself. And over here, let's have a look at HTML page structure, how as web browsers structure this HTML and display it on the website. So like I said, starts off with HTML tags, closes up with HTML tag. If you forget to close any tag, then you will obviously see an error. So it starts with head and has title in between. So head section is basically this. So this is called the head section. And the body section is like I said, all the things that you see below this search, this bar is the body section. And here you can have a look at the HTML history as well, how we um, discussed earlier the different versions of HTML. And since 2014, we have been using HTML5. There have been a lot of different HTML version. It started in 1989 and we've come all the way up to 2023, we are done with the basic or oh, HTML introduction. So today we learned how to define the version of HTML that we're using and what is HTML tag, head tag, title tag, body tag, and we focused on a few other tags in between the body section. And how to open and how to close HTML tags and few exceptions in HTML tag and browsers and how browsers load HTML file and the structure of HTML file. In next tutorial, we'll start with HTML editors and go on with all these other concepts in HTML. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.